Alright, <laughs> we're gonna kick right back into the next episode. Fucking man just blew the fuck up, dude. Can I, is there a secret in there? Can I get a thingy from him? That'd be cool if I could. Can I get up there? Bro, how? Yo. Alright, let's heal up and I'm just gonna run in there and see if I can't fucking grab something. Oh, it's gone, dude. He did. There ain't nothing in there, dude. What the fuck? Oh, he's got, he left me a lot of goodies, though. From like the seven dudes he killed. All right, let's get back to the tower. Fucking, we fucked around long enough, and it's about to become night anyway. So, getting out of here now rather than later would be good. Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antidote did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to. He's. Look, he screwed us. Okay, I only got five vials. What? What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named... Fucking doll. Yeah, uh, whatever. He's... I know, I know this one. This is the fucking... Mr. I don't want to fucking about. talk to you. I didn't mean to click that. I thought you had, like, were a specially timed thing. Fuck. Let's go. Do you have the answers in? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including including a couple of kids. Bro, what? You better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lena. What to do, my guy? Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. What happened here, it's so very sad. Yeah. This is where we get the announcements about the Anderson drops. And they just stopped. There were kids in there! Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. It was odd if we weren't... Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in her own? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Yeah. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen... I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way, a better way. Fine, I'll wait, but not for long. Bruh. Finally, I get to do some actual good. Here it is again. Well, what's going on here? Bayer's locked himself in the room. We could hear him screaming. He may have turned. You hear that? I can't get this lock. You want to try it? Fucking do it, dude. Oh, you screwed. But here, you in here? 
Help me. Oh, hey. Tell me what's wrong. I can't move. My chest feels like it's going to explode. Are you turning? No, no. I took antizin and the pain started. Ugh. The vial is on the floor. Yeah? What you took is junk. What? It's fake. Where did you get this from, Bahir? Please, I need a doctor. First, tell me who sold you that. I can't, I promised. This guy is very useful. He brings me things from the outside. Yeah, like phony antizin? People could be giving this to their kids. You want them to go through this? No! God, no! Then tell me who sold it to you. Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. He lives on the roof. Fuck this okay, guy. I'll get Dr. Lena. No, oh, please. What happened? Did you kill him? What? No. Look, he's not turning, but he needs a doctor. I thought he was turning. We should still keep an eye on him. If he needs a doctor, you should get the doctor. Y yeah, you don't say. You better have a look at this. What? Oh, well, he's floated to her hand. numbers wrong. Is this a fake? Someone on 21 took it, and now he can't even get off the floor. Aman, get down to 21 now. Where did you get it from? Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. Well, he can't be producing it here. Someone's supplying him. I'll have a talk with Yusuf. The sooner, the better. Don't hurt him. Just talk to him. I'll break his fucking legs. Nope. Yo. Raheem? Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. Yeah? So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives... Oh, Jesus. Rahim, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. We make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my... Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Fucking Christ, kid. <laughs> See, it's a hell of a way to sober up. Team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. None. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, that's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit on my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not... Helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What is that? What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Okay, look. I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. What the... No. F Fuck you, kid. No. <sighs> Oh, it's nighttime. Yo. Let's find Yusef. Hey, Yosefi. You out here, dog? Hey, man, what's up? Yusef? Welcome to Yusef's Emporium. If it's hard to find, you need to find Yusef. Whatever your needs, Yusef has it all. Yeah, I'm looking for Antizen. Well, of course you are. My friend, this is your most lucky day. No, Yusuf, it's your lucky day. Because I'm going to give you a chance to come clean and tell me where you got that counterfeit junk you sold to Bahir. Yeah. Bahir? Bahir, you say? Do I know this, Bahir? He nearly died from that phony antizin you sold him. Phony? Are you sure? You're saying it's no good. I just bought ten vials from those guys. I paid good money. Which guys? Well, that's kind of a sensitive issue. 
Which guys, Yusuf? I'm running I'll break your patients. fucking legs. Here's a building next to the drugstore. A couple of survivors live there. I don't know how many. I've never been inside. They have medicines. Some of them are real. I guess from the drugstore. They also cook their own stuff. The guy I deal with is named Bento. All right, now you're going to burn the rest of those vials. But they cost me a lot of money. It'll cost you a lot more if I find you peddling that junk anymore. Yeah, I'll fucking break your legs, bitch. I will fucking end you. Apocalypse. Okay. Let's go. Let's fucking call the GRE really quick, because we gotta do that. This is Crane. Do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Rice's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldemir would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen, and then, and then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Have gotten a bit strained with the ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. Oh, you assholes take the fucking cake. You know that? You and your fucking file. Yeah, fuck that file. I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Yeah, fuck them guys. Craig, this is Jed. Do you copy? Yeah, what's up? Loud and clear. What can I do for you? Yeah. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. Yeah. If you and I sneak in there, we should get all the meds to You're terrifying. Needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestles near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade, if we don't find that antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. What is up, my dude? Look, I've got to get out of here. I need to get my wife and kids somewhere safe. You know, it seems to me this is about the only safe place there is. <laughs> Safest place in the slums, maybe, but the slums aren't safe. It's no place for my family, and I found a way out. You mean out of the slums? I can't tell you the details, but I need to get across town, and I can't do it without a gun. If you'll get me one, I'll tell you about the place that hasn't been looted yet. I promise you won't regret it. Well, how do you know this place hasn't been looted? Because there's only one person that has access to this place, and you're looking at me. Bring me a gun, and the key is yours, as well as everything you find there. Tempting. You got it? Great. Here's the key I promised you. It's to my old pawn shop, you know? Used to be the best in town. Hey, speaking of the pawn shop, would you do me another favor? I need you to bring me something from the shop. You're going there anyway, right? What is it? It's a... Don't laugh, okay? It's a Ray McCall action figure. I know it sounds silly, but... It means a lot to my son. Alright, we'll do it, yeah. We got a few things to do while we're out and about. Oh, this is not the level I need to be on. Yusuf bots the... Yusuf bought the fake antizen off some survivors who've occupied the building next to an old drugstore, he says. They're cooking up their own medicines. They're obviously not very good at it. Did I do it? Did I do it, Roger Craig Smith, voice of Sonic and Mirage? Did I do the voice right? Uh, well, looking for a side job, friend? Well, actually, I'm looking for someone named Kristoff. You seen him? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen him around. Better go upstairs and talk to Ayo. Know where he oh god damn it. Let's just collect all the side quests we can while we're here. Hey Alfie, I did the thing. Crane, the man who got the power back on. Take this. Sorry if I'm not sounding too grateful. But I'm having a piece of shite day, you know? Anything yeah. I can help with? Yes, but Brecken won't authorize it. Too risky, he says. Well, yep. Is it something we need? Okay. Brecken says we need better security at night. Too many nocturnals on our doorstep, right? Yeah. So I put together a new light rig. 
using these big 10 kilowatt UV lamps. It's massive. Turn it on, it'll torch a volatile at 200 feet. It would be fucking nuclear. But the UV bulbs to run it are stuck in the towers of the infamy bridge. The bridge? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you talking about the infamy firewall? Sure. Biggest UV lamps in the hemisphere. Alfie, that system didn't work. It was a disaster. I mean, when it failed, they had to destroy the bridge. Well, it wouldn't have failed if they hadn't lost power. And when you restarted those substations, the system came back online. You can see it at night now. So you need someone to get the bulbs. Sure, sure. But here's the thing. Some of the bulbs have burned out, right? They're no good. So the only way to tell which ones still work is to collect them when the system is powered on. Another night run. Getting in wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, but once you remove the working bulbs... You'll be on a pitch black bridge with a whole bunch of problems. Yeah. You know what? Maybe Brecken's right about this one. Forget I mentioned it. But it's a damn shame. Oh, of course I can do it. All right, we'll collect these last two side quests here. What do you What's got up? for me? You know Jafar, right? The one from the garage? He's looking for a good runner. For what? He wouldn't talk about it on the radio. I think it's something important. Okay. Okay. Good. And what do you got for me? Hey, have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? Yeah. If Rise is people's for it, they're going to come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. Okay. So were there's like were those like uh were those like things to tell me about stuff that I can do over there? Crane, it's Lena. Is this Crane? Can you hear me on this thing? Yeah, who is this? This is Tolga. And Fatim. We work for Mr. Dahl. Idiosyncratic, great. I how many of us will get killed collecting empty pill bottles? You want to ask Bento? No, hell no. He's crazier than a volatile. That's for sure. What can I do for you, my friend? Yeah, I hear you're selling Antizen. Who told you that? A little bird? Yeah. Not just the same person who told me you've been cooking up garbage and putting it in fake vials. Garbage? My formula is 50 times better than that crap they drop in boxes. Not only does it keep you healthy, it gives you super strength, incredible speed, and laser eyes. Laser eyes? Yo, give me some. I burn you with one look if I wanted to. I'm shutting you down, Bento. Yeah. Yusuf said you'd try to make trouble. Yeah, well, Yusuf was right. And you're fucking dead. We've got this fucking dance, boy. -o. Bro, can I? F it's over when I say it. Yo, how are you alive? What? He hurt me from the grave. Yo, can I kick you to the fucking wolves, my guy? Yo. Oh, he's dead. Really? That's all it took to kill you was two drop kicks? Lena, oh, thank Crane. You. You can tell Brecken that counterfeit lab's out of business. Give me your machetes. Are you all right? I'm fine, but Yusuf tipped him off that I was coming. I was afraid of that. Brecken was going to lock him up, but he'd already slipped out. Now, if he comes back, I'm going to have a word with him. Not if Bahir gets to him first. Yo, give me all your shit in here, boys. Come on. <laughs> 
They were they were trying to be Breaking Bad. All they got was breaking because I fucking broke their legs. All right, we're going to leave it there for now, boyos. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next portion of Dying Light. Goodbye.